Or is it just maybe on Sia and he's on Saturday, he's like he had a fractured cheek? Out. What exactly is the situation? Yeah, he had two options. Uh, again, I don't want to sound like a medical doctor, because I am not. Um, yeah, it's, it's, he has two options. The one is uh, it has to be reset. It's, it's a nose fracture in here. And, and I don't want to name uh, bones and stuff. Maybe I pronounce it wrong. Uh, but uh, he can either get it uh, placed back now, then he's out for three weeks, or the doc says he can wait two weeks uh, and, and then put it back in place. And obviously, um, the, 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 the bigness, the massive thing about this game, and not, not just for the rugby championship, for us playing all blacks here uh, at the Cape Town Stadium is, is a big one and everybody wants to play there. I must say, I saw a few sad faces uh, when we announced the team on Monday. Uh, I think Marku must be disappointed. Uh, desperately disappointed, not because we would have played in Sia's place, uh, because we didn't go for 6-2, uh, you know, but the guys are handled it really well. I mean, Kuebus, Mani, uh, all the guys, uh, uh, Salman, uh, um, I mean, if we went 6-2, uh, Salman would have been in a mix. Even with 5-3, we fought, thought of a lock and a loose forward, but you have the luxury of, 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 of Peter Steff. And you see, I, I see Zalman playing a lot of test matches for South Africa still. Uh, and I see him as a great captain. Uh, he's really somebody that brings something to the party. It's a calmness about him. Uh, it's a precision thing about him. It's a really great work ethic. So uh, we've got a few guys that's unlucky. And just to answer, I know I answered the question in a long turn. But uh, yeah, see, uh, uh, he himself wanted the option to play now and get it reset on in two weeks' time. Uh, Sia's injury was obviously when Sam hit him. Uh, I will never forget, sorry, I'm, I'm giving long answers, but I'll try to keep it uh, serious. Uh, he broke his neck uh, against us at Alice Park in a big win. And I went and visited him on the Monday morning because the New Zealand flew back. And I know we, I'll, I've had a jaw break twice in Sydney. I know how lonely it gets in a foreign country alone there. And you don't know how other medical aid work, how good the doctors are, and those kind of things. So I went to visit him on a Monday. Uh, so we know each other a little bit closer than the normal All Blacks, and you know, had a coffee and stuff with him there in the bed. And you could see the guy was going through a tough time because a neck injury is a, probably something that can stop your career, or you know, you can get. Yeah, but this uh, for long, what is that you call that? Paralyzed. You can get paralyzed, you know. So uh, he was obviously going through some emotional stuff there. And to be honest with you, I don't think he did any of that on purpose. Uh, I think it, a yellow card might have been appropriate or penalty would, would have been appropriate. But uh, he came afterwards and I said to him, listen, we're not going to cite. Uh, we're not going to cite you on that because you have 12 hours to cite. And if the citing commissioner obviously pick it up and he thinks it meets a red card a threshold, they call it. Uh, then they investigate it, but he, he, they went through everything. Uh, and, and that specific one didn't come up as a breaking the red card threshold. So, and, and he came and apologized. And uh, when you look at the action, yes, all of us can go a little bit lower, but I, I don't think he went for see us head with his head, because it was actually not the shoulder, it was actually the head hitting him on the nose. So, no, sometimes it goes for you and sometimes it goes against him. That poor guy was red carded in the World Cup final. Uh, uh, wouldn't have been nice to get red carded again. And how did Sia get to training? Oh, Sia, uh, the question was to Sia on Sunday, uh, after they did all the scans. And Sia, will you be half-hearted going into contact? You know, because your nose is sore and it's swelled up and the cheekbone is blown out. and. Uh, and I, I said, no, well, let's go see you now. So that's why we didn't even man I want to mention it on Tuesday morning, because Sia had to get through Monday. Uh, internally, we, we, we announced the team with him starting slash Marco. But then on Monday evening, he did all the contact sessions. Tuesday, he went right through. And today on Thursday, I can tell you, he's, uh, um, he didn't show any. The only problem would have been if he's hesitant. It can't break further. Uh, it, it has to be uh, put back in place. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it might look like quaha. <laughs>